In this video, I'm gonna talk to you about the five things I did not like about this Indian FTR sport. Point number one, no quick shifter. Even though this motorcycle has every sporty function you can think of, it has a TFT display with navigation, very sporty braking with Brembo systems, sporty suspension. Somehow Indian decided to not put the quick shifter on here. And as they say themselves, this has to do with the pure riding feeling of this motorcycle. But honestly, especially for the price point, I think it should be on there. Point number two, it runs erratically at a constant speed. When riding and you have it in a higher gear, which is very uh, normal for fuel consumption or just riding on the highway, freeway, it pulls and tugs. You can even see it in your dashboard in your uh, speedometer, speed, speedometer, 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 <laughs> on your speedometer, <laughs> on your speedometer. <laughs> on your dashboard you can see that the kilometers an hour goes up and down and up and down and up and down and you can actually really feel that when you're riding it really wants you to push and open the throttle at all times and that's the only way it is comfortable to ride it feels like point number three it's not exactly a smooth shifting experience the gearbox gives a lot of hiccups when you're changing gears, especially when you're changing gears from the first to the second gear. A few days of riding, I did get used to it a little bit more, but once I put it away for a day and went back onto it, uh, I again had to really get used to uh, slamming it from first to second gear because you really have to slam it in there to get it properly. Point number four, the finish, and then especially the finish of the less important little details on the motorcycle seem to be of a little bit lesser quality. For example, when you look at the handlebars, you have the buttons and they're already losing some of the paint. I can only imagine what they would look like after one year of using. For a motorcycle at this price point, I think they should really put a little bit more effort into that. Point number five, the TFT user interface is a tad slow. I can quite literally turn on the ignition key, walk to my kitchen, grab a drink from my fridge, walk back, and then it will be started up. That's okay uh, if you have the time, but if you have to turn on the ignition key, start up the motorcycle and immediately ride off, you will notice that you won't have an actual display to look at how fast you're going for the first few seconds. I do think that's something worth investing in for Indian to update it in the near future. Overall, it's a great motorcycle, but these I thought were a little bit of a letdown. I also have a lot of points I really liked about this motorcycle. If you want to hear more about that, check out the video right here. And if you want to hear more about modifications on this motorcycle, check out the video here. <laughs>